Hello everybody, it's TD Bricks here with another LEGO tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this really nice modern LEGO bookcase. Um, if you'd like to check out my latest video, I'll link it in the description of this video. Definitely check that out because I'm pretty sure you'll like it. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see what I have here, um, I have three basic parts. I have a 1x2 brick, I have a 1x6 plate, and a 1x4 tile. So I'm simply going to get my tile and place it on top of the plate. Um, to directly one side like this so there should be a 1x2 space remaining I'm going to fill that in with this 1x2 brick here and it should look like this when you're finished I'm going to make another three of those so there should be a total of four and what I'm going to do uh, this may be a little bit unstable it's the only critical thing I have to admit about this bookshelf but I'm simply just going to make a zigzag pattern out of it like this and of course um, I would definitely recommend using both of your uh, hands because it does require some gentleness and uh, obviously it can easily just bend like that without much uh, without much strength and once I'm finished making the zigzag pattern as you can see I stacked four of these little assemblies on top of each other that I showed you guys how to make so to finish it off um, rather than using the 1x2 brick and the 1x4 tile I'm going to use uh, a 1x6 plate. I apologize, I don't have a 1x6 plate with me right now, so I'm just using uh, one of these 1x2 plates and one 1x4 plate. And on top, I'm going to place a 1x6 tile rather than one 1x4 tile and one 1x2 tile. And when you're finished, it should look like this. Finally, to finish it off, I'm going to connect it to the top. And there you go, it's a super nice bookcase. Be perfect for any modern house you might be working on. And of course, I'm going to get my really fancy wall and just connect it right on. So there you go, that was the tutorial. I hope you guys found this video to be useful and inspirational. If you have any questions or ideas on what I should do next, then feel free to let me know in the comment section of this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I appreciate your support. And thanks so much for tuning in.